Hey guys, I'm Ian, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use JUnit. Um, I'm going to be showing you JUnit 4. JUnit 3 is an uh, old version, and yeah, I don't use it. So, I'm showing you how to use it with Maven, Apache Maven. Um, this is the palm.xml. You're going to want to use version 4.10 or whatever version 4 is the latest at the time. Um, I'm using Maven and NetBeans. If you don't have those, you might want to check out my other videos on how to install Maven or how to install NetBeans. Uh, NetBeans isn't required for this video, Just it's the same code, but it, if you want to have the same interface as me, you might want to check out NetBeans. So let's go and make a new Java class in our source packages, um, math details, and this is going to be the class we're going to test. So let's make a method, public static double test multi or no, just multiply, and let's take in two parameters, double a double B. This is exactly how I said in my um, video, my introduction video. So we're going to want it to return A times B. Multiply them together. Now we're going to go to test packages and we're going to make a test for this class. So math utils test. Some people like to write their test before they do the code, but I like it the other way around. So um, we're going to want to make a public void test the name of the method multiply. Um, this is going to be our unit test. Each unit test is just a method. A method tests another method. And we're going to want to put at test above it, an annotation that tells JUnit that this is a test. Or .JUnit.test. Um, so yeah, now we're going to test the multiply method in math details. Um, first we're going to want to import static. This is a well or a little known feature in Java. Basically it lets you import a method, a static method from a different class without having to um, without having to type in the class name every time you use the method. It's pretty nice if you use a lot of static methods. Um, so import static org.junit.assert okay and we're going to want all the methods, so you use an asterisk. If you wanted just an individual method, um, you could just type in one of these, but we want all of them, so put a star, asterisk. Um, and now that's going to import all the methods from JUnit assert into our class. So now we're going to want to test the multiplication. So let's define our parameters double A equals 5, double B equals negative 4.0. Yeah, this should be 5.0. It's a double, so it doesn't really matter, but yeah. Now it's time to um, test. So the expected result, you can call it expected or whatever you want. I like to call mine expected so everything's clear. Expected equals negative 20.0. And the double result, this is going to be the result from the method. You're going to want to do math utils dot multiply a b. Um, this is a outdated method. I mean, no, wait, sorry. Um, yeah, so you're going to want your expected and your result together. So it's easier to read. Now you're going to want to use assert equals. This will basically check if this equals this. Assert equals expected result. So you want to put your expected first and your result next. Now, this is the deprecated method. Um, it's uh, deprecated because there's a lot of math methods, there's a lot of math stuff that is not completely accurate. It's floating point numbered, it's not going to be completely accurate. But, um, yeah, you're going to want to put in this thing called an epsilon at the last parameter. This is going to basically be the threshold on whether the test failed or not. So. If there's more than a 0 .00001 difference, then the test is going to fail. So now let's go and test this. Um, first, let's build. Okay, and this actually tests all of them for you over here. See, um, but what if you want a graphical interface? Go on to test file, Control F6, or you can click this right-click test file thing. So right-click test file and now it's going to test all the methods all of the tests you have in your math details testing 
So there you have it. That's the basics of JUnit. Basically, you have expected result equals, then do the method, and assert equals expected result. So in the next videos, I'm going to be showing you some more JUnit stuff, like not static methods and other things. So thanks for watching. JUnit's gotta let me know. Should I commit or should I go? If you have tests, you'll know you're fine. They should work all the time. So they gotta let me know. Should I commit or should I go? That was a little bit better, but it was still kind of bad.